among the commodity metals, iron and steel are by far the most widely used materials with annual production near 1.9 billion metric tons. The blast or shaft furnace iron making process has been for the past two centuries the dominating iron making group to provide the raw materials for steel making. With over 93% of the total iron production from ores taking place via the blast furnace group, the process produces pig iron as its primary product and slag as its main byproduct, which is the focus of the study. In 2018, the Mines and Geosciences Bureau conducted a project using low-grade nickel lateral ores as feed material for blast or shaft furnace iron making process, to which the produced slag contains significant amount of scandal, the metal of interest to be recovered in the study via dry digestion and excitation methods. Iron and steel slag products have been used since ancient times. The materials are among the world's most versatile materials, which are engineered and made similar to gravel. Their rough, porous properties make them valuable until today for use around the globe for a wide array of manufacturing, extraction, and agricultural applications. Scandium is classified as a rare earth element widely distributed in the Earth's crust without the affinity of forming exploitable high grade primary scandium deposits. And up to now, it's mainly obtained as a byproduct from various hydrometallurgical processes. Depending on the rate of recovery from secondary resources, its supply was reported to be only 5 to 12 tons per year, with an unsteady price of $2,000 to $4,500 per kilogram of 99.9% scandium oxide. Primarily, scandium was used in aluminum panels as a minor alloying element, mainly used in military, sporting goods, and aerospace applications. Nowadays, there is a great demand forcing the replacement of heavier structural components with lighter ones in applications such as airplanes and automobiles to decrease fuel consumption and emissions. According to its estimates, aircraft made from welded aluminum scandium alloys would be 15% lighter and 15% cheaper to build compared to present materials. Moreover, the use of scandium in solid oxide fuel cells is another important and promising area where an urgent demand for scandium exists. Scandium also offers arrays of applications in laser and lighting as well as potential use transmission lights and the marine industry. Due to their unique tissue chemical properties, REEs like scandium have become the building block of many critical emerging green technologies. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, the increasing uptake of technology for virtual meetings and other tools used to facilitate remote work will further intensify the demand for metals for automation of process and systems and other advanced applications, making scandium and other REEs indispensable elements in today's technological-driven world unfolding the fourth industrial revolution.